I know how precious a thing democracy is. In the authoritarian Yugoslavia where I grew up, religion was excluded from public life. My Christian faith and practice drew suspicion of the authorities. As the member of a small Protestant community, the free exercise of our faith and free expression of our views were stifled and repressed. Later, in 1990s, I witnessed Yugoslavia splinter into independent states. In those days, religion was all too present in public life. Religions wrapped themselves in the flags of bellicose nationalisms and became instruments of exclusion and ethnic violence. I know how dangerous a thing coercive religion is. As I look around the world today, I am troubled to see democracy in doubt. Authoritarianism is on the rise, and many citizens of democratic countries are unconcerned. Some even look with envy toward the apparent strength and unity of authoritarian states. With echoes of former Yugoslavia, many religious communities are signing on to support programs of exclusion and coercion. I believe there is a better way to understand and to live Christian faith, a way that is more faithful to the teaching and practice of Jesus Christ. I believe a flourishing democratic culture is worth pursuing, one where people of all faiths and none can have equal voice, where rights are respected and where vulnerable people are cared for. Today, we need Christians who respect the many other voices that meet us in the public square, and who do so precisely because of our Christian commitments to love our neighbor and to freedom of conscience. We need a vibrant public faith whose adherents seek to honor everyone as the New Testament explicitly instructs us. As our small contribution to this task, my colleagues and I at the Yale Center for Faith and Culture have created a small group discussion guide based on my book, A Public Faith, How Followers of Christ Should Serve the Common Good. I wrote the book to push against coercive religion and to elevate the importance of genuine democracy. The study guide is designed to help us have better conversations about the positive role our faith can play in improving and strengthening democracy. You can visit us at faith.yale.edu slash public to download the guide and join us in the search for a way of living our faith in public that is true to the gospel of Jesus Christ.